At 530, stock up on tissues. The flu is flying around. A rise in cases is causing concern, but what are doctors saying is the leading cause? And keeping Washington, Lincoln, and Franklin alive. Why the Sunshine State is saying no to going plastic. Plus, I want to live. I want to live. Screaming for her life, a woman desperate to get help is saved by her watch. Sneezes and sniffles are on the rise in the Sunshine State. With people traveling in and out of town for the holidays, it makes sense. But many doctors are linking the rise now to low vaccination rates. Right now, there are so many flu cases in Charlotte County, the Department of Health is listing it as a high-risk zone. Wing News reporter Roderis Richardson tells us who this rise threatens the most. The winter months are full of holidays, family gatherings, and more people visiting Southwest Florida. And while that's enjoyable. The reality is it's, it's easier to transmit respiratory viruses when people are closer together. Flu cases are not showing signs of going away. Our numbers of influenza cases are up about 25% compared to the same week last year. We're seeing that um, it is still rising week over week, so we haven't plateaued yet. Um, hard to know exactly when that will happen. The Florida Department of Health's weekly reports show cases increasing across Southwest Florida, the most vulnerable children and older adults. I think my first pediatric death as a pediatrician was influenza. So when you look at influenza like a, a month or so ago, and we now see a tenfold increase in the amounts of cases, tenfold in a short period of time. It's alarming because you know if you're not vaccinated, the risk of getting influenza is higher. And the best way to keep you and your family safe. The first thing you want to do is immunization. Make sure you're vaccinated. Vaccine rates are a little lower this year than previous years. If you're ill, stay home. You know, don't go to work if you're sick. Washing your hands, hygiene. Not touching your face, your nose, your eyes, where there's mucous membranes. You know, those are areas where a become susceptible to viruses. Taking care of yourself to stop the spread of viruses. For Darius Richardson, Wink News. And while the symptoms can vary, doctors say the earliest symptom is usually a sore throat.